Hello everyone, this is Jesse Oliger, uh, inventor of the Breath Belt, and I'm writing this uh, pre-sale email blast to our, to our big list of customers that have helped make the Breath Belt uh, successful as it is today. And uh, you know, I just want to take the time to say, you know, it wouldn't be possible without you, and I just really appreciate your support, giving something that's a little counterintuitive to the status quo a shot, but you know, within about four years, our, our anniversary's coming up in a couple weeks, um, Got about 25,000 belts on the hip, so I'm really pumped about that. Um, with that being said, I just want to introduce you to the next thing I'm working on, and um, I'm looking for help with a pre-sale, and I'll explain why in just a second. So long story short, um, back in October, I came up with a new idea for uh, to, to help out uh, somebody I admire and respect. His name is Alex Canales. You might have heard of him on uh, at Landmine University on Instagram. Now, long story short, and I'll explain it in the, the email below, but I believe landmine training will overtake power lifts, or sorry, Olympic lifts for sports, uh, for sports development. That's what I'm all about as a former NFL player. I'm just always looking for the quickest, safest ways to get the younger athletes um, a better outcome so they can develop and get, get to where they want to go as fast as possible and help their coaches get them to the same place as fast as possible. So through, throughout the landmine training of 2020 and 21, um, you know, there's an immediate need. So steel stock handles. So I noticed um, that there's no steel stock handles. There's, there's, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's a gripping issue. Um, and so what I came up with is what I'm calling thunder caps. Now, what are thunder caps? Thunder caps are the first of their kind. There's no such thing as something seven and a half inches to cover the uh, end of a landmine. So as I was getting more involved in the idea of scouting out companies to do it, I found some American made companies right in Los Angeles, two hours from our, our headquarters in San Diego, and I started the process. Now, anything over three quarter inch, which is standard for three quarter inch diameter, which is standard for any bike, um, kids bike, adult bike, mountain bike, anything, jet ski, it's all custom made, so molding is something I'm new to and without going into the cost, it costs uh, about a small SUV to, uh, to just get the process started. So I've spent the last three months really working on a design, really finding the materials for mold injection and really, you know, really just understanding all the, all the ways to get it to market as fast as possible. So best case scenario, it'll be here in about three to four months, but I need help with the the, um, with the molding costs and getting the spot line of manufacturing. So that's that's the real reason, or the main reason that I'm doing the pre-sale. But what I can promise you is just like the breath belt, you know, this is who I am. The breath belt is who I am. This is what I do. And these, this is just a prototype, but th this is based on the best available, what's around today, made by the company I'm part of. Um, partnering with. So what I can promise you is they will be ready to go. They will fit perfectly. They will add compression and tactile injury prevention to, to every single movement for earlier success because that's really what it's all about. Now on the work side or the on the business side, you know, I, I was struggling in the beginning because I know how important the landmine is, but I know it's, it's going to take a little bit to get there. And of course, our group wants to um, accelerate the process. But then I noticed that every sled and prowler has what they call schedule 80 poles. I think they're pretty common in uh, construction. And they're just a, a little bit smaller than the end of a barbell, which is a 1.96. I believe these are 1.9. But the way I can make the thunder caps is you'll be able to slip off one and put right on the other. So I don't have a perfect prototype because there is no prototype unless you get the mold. So you gotta make the mold to get the prototype. But that's the only way to do it. So what I can do is in the email below, I'll take you, I'll take you down the uh, process, the materials close up of about what it's going to be, and of course the beautiful 3D designs I've, I've been working so hard on. And I'm really um, going all out with this. So it's going to serve every market in the business, or in the business, in the in the fitness community, as well as the home gym community. It's going to be customizable. Kids will love it. Everything, everything about it is is uh, is really come together. So. Just wanted to thank you for your time and uh, for for helping me out. I'm also giving a 10%. Uh, I'll be selling them at 110, but I'll be giving 10% off to, 
to get them over below 100. And of course, as I, I move into production, I really want to get that price below, get that price below 100 bucks, hopefully below 80, um, whenever, when, when the uh, finance kind of settles out with uh, the proper inventory and sales and everything like that. So um, with that being said, I just want to thank you so much. Thank you for your support on the breath belt. Um, I got one invention after this, but the first one is thunder caps and it's, it'll be similar to this. But um, this is the one we're going to do first, so this is where the focus is for the next three or four months. But thank you for your time. Please check out the email in the pictures below. Let me know your thoughts. And also, I am looking for outside seed money and investment. So if you or you uh, anybody you happen to know does those kind of type of things, feel free to reach out to me, jesse, um, thebreathbelt at gmail.com. I'm always looking for help. So thank you for your time. Have a great day.